Hello, I'm Jaid Barkinozov from Chukrova University Computer Engineering Department, 4th grade. Today we're going to do word sense disambiguation using the LESC algorithm. LESC algorithm compares two unambitious words definition with the terms in that sentence. There are two uh, main steps. So step one, uh, for every unambitious words meaning, count neighbors of the word and words in the words def uh, dictionary definition. And two, the meaning with the greatest count should be selected for that word. And since that means a set of uh, senses meanings, uh, that similar uh, words have. So this is my corpus. I cleaned uh, from punctuations and I lowered it. And my trick stop words, I, uh, I tokenized it. And I cleaned my text uh, from stop words. And I counted the bigrams with threshold 2. There are 3. And these are, uh, are the first 20 uh, bigrams. I did this uh, because um, I wanted to find uh, an ambitious verse in my corpus and here I convert the list to a string to make it tokenizable again and I did tokenization again and here uh, in my glossary class uh, this uh, one works as and uh, this makes attributes are uh, makes attributes immutable so you cannot change it later so I will explain constructor and the get uh, method later and here, this is wrapper, uh, this is for string formatting, and these are my getters, name, list, definition. So, my glossary, I selected Als, Takmak, Buk from these biograms because they have uh, an ambitious meanings. So, Als means mouth and dialect, Takmak means rare and obsessed, Buk means older and supreme. And since that, uh, I'm sending uh, since that to name and its definition. And this is a string because it's a string. Sorry, because it's a string uh, in constructor. First, it um, initializes its name, and then uh, here it checks if it's a string. And if it's a string, it accepts as a definition. And if it's not a string, it accepts is as a list. So here, I send uh, these words as meanings in a list. So because it's a list, it goes here and initialize as a list. So here I also send all of them, all stack my book together to uh, to my glossary class. And here the LESC algorithm accepts uh, sentence context and ambitious words and since that uh, default is none. So here context is uh, set context sentence set function convert any of the iterable to sequence of iterable elements with distinct elements and if since that is none since that will be a, a get ambitious word and get functions works as for set in self dot list if sets name string returns as list it's a kind of a getter as you can understand and here um, uh, I'm sending two uh, variables. Uh, I don't care about the first one. The second one is the importance hands. Uh, okay, let's start from here. For SS in synsets, SS is an abbreviation for synsets. Uh, SS dot definition. Definition works. Uh, definition is my function here. I'm getting the definition and the splitting. Split works as a string into a list where each word is a list item. And SS. And I'm sending SS and that to an intersection. Intersection is returns a set that contains the items that exist in both sets. So there's a SS dot definition split and SS. So SS is uh, words and SS uh, intersection part uh, checked by LAN. So there's LAN are accepted and uh, the maximum value will be found. And here I'm sending to LESC algorithm uh, the tokens in my uh, corpus and this word, this word and this word, and I printed the results. Uh, so my corpus was about COVID and health. Therefore, takmak, maske takmak, wearing mask, and büyük, yaşından uh, büyük, older than words meanings are selected correctly, but ağız, uh, ağız maske, so mouth mask, is selected wrong. This definition means um, dialect. And that's all. Thank you for listening.